Hi again. Okay, so on this video, we are going to set up um, the payment gateways for our business or our company or our services. So on this particular example, I will be using PayPal account and I would also recommend you to use PayPal because it's the most accessible and you can set it up instantly through paypal.com so let's just do that I'm gonna go to set up here the setup menu and choose payment gateways here okay so you can see we have quite some list of available payment gateways I won't be explaining all this but as I have told you we're gonna use PayPal as it is the most accessible and you can also upgrade to PayPal website payments pro when you have processed more um, transactions and your sales volume is pretty high you can apply for this it's like a an actual merchant account so you can actually um, capture your customers card number and process it manually so for now we're going to use PayPal and I'm going to click activate here so that's it now once you do that the visible name here is PayPal as you can see this the visible name but you want to change that because you want to express to your um, visitors that you are able to accept various kind of payments so let's just change that I'm gonna change this now we can still use PayPal but I'm gonna use this like I always use so you can add Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discovery and e-check payment as well and here put your PayPal email address mine is PayPal or sorry payments at ikismedia.com and on second thought I'm gonna change that to payments or maybe billing billing at eatmemo.com and I'm going to show you on how you can create additional email addresses okay so uh, force let's just um, highlight what I'm talking about here <coughs> now change to rectangular green here force one-time payments no we don't want to force one-time payments but we want to force subscriptions so if your hosting plans or services are subscription based you want to you want to check this you want to check this one so your clients will be automatically built every single month okay so let's just do that now I'm gonna switch back to Windows and click here for subscriptions modify subscriptions nope so what's this three little three last lines as you can see I'm gonna click new here here's the PayPal API username password and signature you don't need to set those you can set those if you want to automate refunds as you can see here let's uh, clear this and here API fields only required for refunds so you can just issue your refunds manually as your clients request refunds so just log into your PayPal account and you can refund each payment from there okay so now 
For this example, uh, I'm using billing at eatmemo.com, but this hasn't been set up yet on my PayPal account. So I, I'm going to show you on how we can set those up as well. Okay, so let's go to paypal.com now. I'm going to open a new tab here. I'm going to go to PayPal. And I'm going to log in. That's my main PayPal account. I'm going to log in here. So once logged in, click on Profile, Add or Edit Email. Simply add an email account by clicking the Add button here. And then you just need to confirm it by clicking on the link sent by PayPal to this email address. And that is it. I'm going to pause this video for a second and uh, do just that. So there, as you can see, I have confirmed my billing at eatmemo.com email address, this one. Sorry about that. This one. Right? So, that's it. So, I'm going to close my PayPal tab. I'm going to log out first. Sorry about that. I keep doing that. Um, I'm gonna log out, close this, and I'm gonna save this, okay? Um, I think it's already been saved, so uh, my billing at eatmemo.com has been set. So now we are ready to move forward to start um, creating our products and services, which we are going to do just now on the next video thanks for watching